Woo! What up, y'all? What's cracking? I'm gonna come in real quick. I hope this is a quick one because I don't want to deal with this damn subject too long. Um, all of y'all been hitting me up about different alternatives of what to do with this damn uh, coronavirus. So, since I am a healthcare professional uh, for 20 years and a nutritionist, um, and alternative healthcare as well, um, you know, as far as far, as well as energy healing and all the rest of that type of stuff. So, I figured I'd share some of this information since um, you know I just give you guys all the other stuff all the time. I got to give you guys some health information to balance it out. So, um, we're gonna break down how and what this damn virus actually is and what it isn't and why you shouldn't be. Uh, why you shouldn't fear it, why you shouldn't have fear at all. Fear lowers your frequency, so you should never have fear at all as it is. Um, but I'm going to tell you what you can take in order, to, if, if, you, if you're still a little leery, if, you know, if you're not there with your mental, with your mental uh, fortitude yet, and you still, you know, you're still a little antsy about people breathing on you <laughs> and all the rest of that, um, I'll give you an alternative on what to do. But as you saw in the video, um, it says coronavirus or corona, chronos virus. So, you know, and it's funny that, you know, this stuff is happening right now when you have an election cycle and it always happens. It always seems to happen that we always have a, um, a an outbreak of something at an election cycle. It's, <laughs> this is how they do. This is how they drum it, you know, distraction, hysteria. You know, get you less focused on what's going on in politics, so you don't really understand um, what they're doing on how to and move as far as moving, uh, moving the government and the country. And it's just like clockwork, chaos, order of KO. That's their main. That's their main. Uh, you know, their main motto in masonry: order of KO, order out of chaos. They feed you the chaos so that you beg for some order. This is how it goes down. And this is also, this is all for a bigger plan that they have coming in. Um, you know, this whole one world government plan is still jumping off. So, um, you know, they could not, they cannot bring America into a one world government when it's working properly. You're not going to go for that. You're going to be like, well, no, we're good. We don't need no one world government. So they have to kind of break America down, destroy it. Not tear it down completely because it's worth nothing if they tear it down completely, but get it bared down, uh, strip it down to its bare minimum to where uh, you come in begging, begging for a solution. Oh, we need to, we need to link up with the rest of the world. This is crazy. We need to, this is, this is, this is insanity. We can't have this. You know, what do they start doing right now? Start shutting down the borders. So this is, you know, this is usually the plan. And as well, Trump is in office right now. So. When you have something like this, where you got a, a dude like that, like Trump in office, where he can implement martial law and 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 uh, carry that plan out to fruition a little bit more, because he's not he's only supposed to be there to tear the government down. That's that's the only reason he's here, and he can't can't do it in four years. That's too much. But he's also there to um, he's also there to kind of buffer against China because America has so many dealings with China that openly we can really like have a conflict with China because we owe like a trillion over a trillion dollars to China in debt. So you can't have that type of conflict because China can just call in their debt. So, you know, you need some type of brash personality to be able to go at them and not give a damn. Who was that? That's Trump. And that's also getting back into this virus. That's what this virus is about. OK, so, um, you know, until Monday, I didn't know this. I didn't know this was written about. But in a Dean Kuntz book, he wrote about this virus breaking out in the Wuhan province where this thing actually broke out um, in his book in 81. So apparently the story goes that when he first wrote it, it wasn't a Wuhan virus. It was um, it was from Russia. It was called like the Goody virus or the Gooky virus or something like that. And then he changed it in 89 uh, to make it more world to more make it more worldly. Um, he turned it into the Wuhan virus 400 or something like that. So, and it just so happens that they have two biological uh, chemical plants in Wuhan. So where this could have escaped from. Now, that's just too easy, you know, for it to be in a book. Now, all of a sudden, the virus to come out and be spreading around the world. That's too, that's too, uh, you know, that's too clean. Usually what this is, is 
um, what they call black ops or you know psyops, where um, well not psy psyop is a mental is a is a mental operation, but it's actually both. So what they do is they go in and they unleash this virus on China. Why would they do this? Because China is the fastest growing country in the world to take over the world. They're they're going to be the next superpower. And how do you halt that growth? You can't really because they are they're, their their economy is like a billion damn near growing to a billion and a half people. So how do you halt that? Bam! Hit them with a damn uh, a viral scare. Everything shuts down completely. Everybody has to go in the house. Nobody's out there buying shit. Nobody's doing anything completely shuts down the, the whole economy. But not only that, it does that to America because their economy affects the world now. So this is also a way they're able to come in and, and seize control of the American economy because the American economy was doing too good. So now, you know, they, they do this. This means uh, a big recession will be coming in after that because everything has shut down because of it. So the, the ripple effects because of that you won't even see until the next few months where everybody has been out of work because productions have shut down or completely closed and not coming back up. Events got canceled, not happening anymore. So all of this stuff you're going to see have a ripple effect into the economy, which is going to which is going to be um, is going to play its part into into play, into the anxiety of America uh, in, in um, you know, the uh, stress of America to be able to move them how or move America how they want them to move. So this is what's going on right now. This is this this is the major, the major plot is to get you so hysterical. And also the, they had to uproot everything. Everything was running a little bit smoothly. We had to uproot everything, release this virus, and especially in China. China and, and, it sh and, and look what's going on. You got to watch some videos of guys or people who've gone to China since this virus is broken out and see what's going on. Because the false, the, the thing that's, the, the shit that's coming out about China, that all these people have died, none of that stuff is really true. Like they, they take you through China. China's not really shut down as, as much as they make it seem, but it is shut down. A lot of people are in the house, but there are a lot of people out on the street with no mask and doing all this and that. You know, it, it's not as crazy as they make you, as the, the American media wants to make you think. But they make you think that because they have to take China down. Remember, China is is doing this. Actually, it's doing, it's, it's doing this. China is mashing out in, in different countries, taking over different countries with resources and shit. So they had to slow China down. <laughs> they had to slow. How are you gonna slow China down? Hit them with a damn virus, and then and then uh, link it to them releasing the virus. See how they throw the whole the whole. Uh, suspicion off to this and, and made it and put it actually on uh china's government they made, made it seem like so china released their own and, and virus on their own people to control their own people no that wasn't that again look what's happening to china why would they shut their economy down like that that's just it makes no sense so that was done to china but again what is this virus what is it about it's called the coronavirus or that comes that comes from the word from the uh you know the latin word for crown what is the crown? Where did that come from? That word crown came from prona, which meant a curve or a circle, like a reef. The original crown, the original word for a crown or the original symbol of a crown was a reef, a circle. But it was a circle, a reef, because it meant it was it was of the dying sun. Remember, this all goes back to Kronos. Kronos, Saturn. <laughs> this is where you get all this shit in. Krona, Krona, or Corona and Kronos is the same word. <laughs> this is what's going on. This is the this is them implementing their little Saturn shit going on right now, and that they and naming it the coronavirus is a little jab for you know for the people who know and the people who don't know that's a smack that's a smack in your face. But this is what's going on right now. The coronavirus, Corona and Kronos are the same word. So when you look it up, you're gonna see it goes back to Krona uh, or Crone. Or crone, which is the same K R O N E, uh, or K R O N uh, K R O N A, and so these words are the same words. You got to do your word. You got to do your word etymology and break these words down. But it's the same word, and so this is what this is the fear that they've unleashed on the world, and they got you right on in it. They all out buying up water and toilet paper like y'all, <laughs> like y'all got eighteen hundred has assholes. <laughs> and you need it, and you need to wipe them all right now. It's absolutely insane. The fear of this shit. It, again, I've said this on the Zoe What Show. The fear of it, and it it lowers your immune system and allows these viruses to take over. 
Okay, it's all about your mental attitude. Your mind controls this vessel. And if you and if you tell this vessel that anything else has the power over it, then it does. <laughs> if you tell it it doesn't, then it doesn't. I'll give you I'll give you an example. Um with me. About 19 years ago, 19, 20 years ago, I had the worst case of uh, food poisoning ever. I was living with some homies. We were all living together and, you know, niggas don't live clean. So I was in the kitchen cooking and probably, you know, they had left some shit out for a while. And um, I had got home from work, cooked, ate it. And man, my stomach, it was felt like somebody was stabbing me in the gut with a sword. It was so bad. Um, I felt like I was going to die. Like I had curled up. I couldn't walk. So the homies were getting ready to take me to the doctor. And, um, you know, and I was trying to get ready to walk out of the door and I couldn't walk. It was like I literally couldn't. So they tried to pick me up and I was like, it, the movement hurt my body. It was so bad. And um, so they were like, man, you want us to call the ambulance? And I was like, yeah. And then when they get ready to call the ambulance, I remember I didn't have any insurance. I was like, oh shit, that's going to be like $2,000 <laughs> just for them to show up. So I was like, nah. I was like, hold up. Don't call the ambulance. Hold up. Just put me on the couch and let me figure this out. So when they put me on the couch, um, I just started to meditate. So I went inside. I went into my body and I told my body, I told every cell in my body that it had the power over anything that entered the body, that I gave it every power, everything that it needed, all the force that it needed to defeat anything that came into the body to harm the body. And so I told my body that over and over again. It was like two hours. When I came out of it, <clears throat> excuse me, my body was completely fine. I did. I meditated for two hours and told every cell in the body. Again, you had to do this over repeating it. Um, your cells hear you. This is why it's important to, to, your thoughts are so important. If you don't understand that, they did a movie called Osmosis Jones with uh, Chris Rock and Brandy. Go watch that movie. That, that, that movie shows how your cells can hear everything, all your thoughts and everything that you say. And they have, they, they, they're, they're sentient themselves. They think, on, they think on their own. So it's very important that you know, your thought and your, and, and your body connection be one and be same and be in harmony. So when I did that, I came out of it. My body was completely fine. I have not had food poisoning since. Ever since, that's been almost 20 years. I've never had food poisoning in 20 years. And I've eaten food where other people have got food poisoning many times. Sitting right at there, ate the exact same food. Has not bugged me at all. Not once in 20 years. Because I understand that. I didn't believe it. I understood that I had that power over my body. And anything that entered it, I, that if it harmed me, I gave it the power to harm me. And see, I'm an Aries. I'm a warrior. So I, right off the bat, I'm, I'm scrapping. <laughs> I don't fuck around. I'm a fighter straight from birth. Martial arts, Aries, warrior. I'm, I'm, this is who I am. So I went inside and I, I went to battle. And I warred with that damn, I warred with that virus. And never again. No strain anytime ever has ever had the power to take me down in there ever again. So that's just one example. I can show you many other times when I had Bell's palsy and, and, and cured it in two hours. But you can you have the power over this. So just understand when you when, when you think, oh coronavirus, oh, your body immediately your immune system goes shoot. <laughs> it shoots down just like that. And then if you are around the virus. Um, that frequency that you just created in your body of, oh, you can, you, here's a place for you. <laughs> here's a place for you to chill and grow and be prosperous. The coronavirus is like, oh, cool. Good looking out, partner. <laughs> I appreciate you. <laughs> be right there in a minute. Take you down. So you can't do that. They understand that. This is, this is some, this is things that they understand. Now let's get into a little facts about the coronavirus though and why you shouldn't be all crazy scared of it. So, um, the estimated deaths of the coronavirus so far have been about um, about 5,000 worldwide, right? So, um, and most of those are elderly people. So, what, what happens is the, the coronavirus, they're, they're implementing right now what they're doing worldwide. They're implementing the first stages or part of the first stages of what they call the culling, right? Where they they wipe off the useless eaters. And so they're gonna start with the people and the useless eaters are the people who use the resources of the earth and never give back. Don't don't even worry about, think about giving back. And they're gonna wipe you out first. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't disagree. 
<laughs> if you niggas ain't, if you niggas are unconscious like that, you living off the earth and not giving back and understand that the earth is sentient and alive, and you just can't keep raping it and 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 and, and siphoning off the earth without giving back to the earth, then you you one of them ones. You a virus. You're the same thing. You're no different than the coronavirus. All you do is use eat up resources and move on to the next thing. So if you're the, if you have that frequency, the earth is coming for you. Go look up that movie with M. Night Shyamalan and, and Mark Wahlberg, where the plants started to attack the earth and release these chemicals that kill people <laughs> that they that were against the earth, that were bad against the earth. Good people, they were lit, they were alive. Bad people who were fucking up against the earth, you went up, <laughs> he was fucked up. So the, this is this is what will happen. The earth is not just gonna let you keep fucking it off like that. It will eventually fight back. Right now, you're just like a minor annoyance to it, like a gnat, but come become some tendonitis in the elbow. <laughs> of the earth and be like, nigga, wait up. <laughs> like, nigga, <sh> <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna apply some damn uh, ibuprofen over there in a minute and wipe all you niggas out. So this is what's going on. They're starting the first stages of the culling, right? And where they wipe off the useless eaters. So the coronavirus attacks um the respiratory systems of unhealthy people, which are the elderly, um and uh the overweight, you know, and people who have who have respiratory problems like asthma and stuff like that as well as smokers. This is why a lot of people in China have died. See, they don't tell you that. See, it, when they're when the young people are dying over in China, it's because, and especially the first doctor who died, the one who caught it and he died, he was a smoker. See, most of those people in China smoke cigarettes all the time, so their respiratory system is messed up. And so, you know, as well, you're, that lowers your immune system, that your, 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 um, your pH balance goes down, your body becomes super acidic. When you're eating all this stuff, which allows the virus to take hold. So it's not just your mind. You definitely want to have a strong mentality, but you got to do also do the physical things to help your mind. These things have to meet up. They have, they have to be in harmony. You just can't sit back and be like, all right, all right, mind, I got the strongest body in the world. And then keep feeding it shit. Those two things don't add up. You got to do, you got to physically do the things that, uh, that allow the, men, the mental state to take hold. All right. So, um, you know, if you, you, you know, you can't be eating shit all the time, sugar all the time. Sugar makes your body super acidic, lowers your immune system, allows these viruses to take hold. Um, but the one thing is not many melanated people are getting sick from it. And the reason is because, um, you know, your melanin, one of the reasons is, and they, and they don't, this is one of the reasons you have to get that melanin book because it talks about how your melanin is antiviral and antifungal and antibacterial. It says it <laughs> in the book. Your, your melanin is anti antiviral, antifungal, and antibacterial. It's self-cleaning. You would live forever if they didn't try to poison you with 150 million different things. Ch fried chicken, uh, alcohol, cigarettes, you know, uh, you know, drugs, chemicals everywhere. That's, it has, they have, and you still live a long ass time. <laughs> with them feeding you all that damn poison, that's because your melanin is self-cleaning. It's a, it's a, it's its own entity. It gets toxins in it. It binds the toxins up, and then when you use the bathroom, it pushes those toxins out in your, in, in your stool or your pee. It says that in the melanin book, right, <laughs> right here. It says all of that. So you guys have to understand your melanin is truly the key to this universe. And I'm gonna tell you another reason why in a second. But this is what's going on. So the coronavirus kills. Uh, basically unhealthy people. So you need to start getting your ass healthy. <laughs> That's what, if you if you've been on the fence about working out, getting your and getting your win right, get your ass up in the gym. Start running. Start walking. Get some oxygen. Increase the lung capacity of your of your you know uh, um your wind capacity of your lungs because that helps. Uh, oxygen heals. It cleanses the body. It cleanses the blood. Viruses cannot live in an oxygenated environment. That's why they attack your respiratory system first, because if you can't breathe in oxygen, then that increases the acidic environment in the body. That's why it shuts down the nose first. You don't shut down the nose when you shut when it, when the virus comes in and it shuts down the nose. Then you have to breathe in through the mouth. Why is it? Why does it do that? Because your nose is the way you cleanse toxins out of the air in your body. So it can't have that because if you're cleansing the, if you're cleansing the toxins, it's harder for the body, the viral or bacteria or whatever, to invade the body. So it shuts down the nose. It shuts down the nasal passages or the respiratory system. You can't breathe, then it's able to multiply because now it has this acidic environment where you know the oxygen is not coming in and it can and killing it and killing off the cells. 
So this is why this is this is all science, y'all. <laughs> see now y'all seeing my twenty years of of the you know nutrition coming out. But this is this is what I used to teach all these people who pay me all this money, all this damn money. So I'm now telling y'all. So you have this is why it's so important to have an alkaline environment. Just your body needs to be a little bit over alkaline. But right now, I would even say, you know, have it even a little bit more. You know, you know, stay. If you can, you can get uh, alkaline ta uh, tabs to test your alkalinity. Um, I would say live at around a seven, between seven point five and an eight alkaline while this viral outbreak is going on, because it, it'll help your, it'll help the body, your immune system fight off these viruses. But um, the guy who discovered the the cause of cancer, Dr. Otto Warburg, he also wrote simultaneously. He wrote the the book to how to how to cure cancer. <laughs> and he said that again, the cancer cannot live, or viruses and cancers cannot live in oxygenated environments. If you want to kill off the, if you want to kill off these things, in, increase the oxygen in the the oxygen within the body. That's what alkalinity. Alkaline is oxygen, and oxygenates the body. So you have to eat alkaline foods. He wrote a book talking about what foods to eat. They have never, never, never showed this book. They have never showed you that guy because if they show you that guy who discovered the the, the cause of cancer, they got to show you that he discovered the cure for it. So they don't never tell you about that guy. <laughs> but go look him up, Dr. Otto Warburg. He discovered he, he won a Nobel Prize. <laughs> he won a Nobel Prize for discovering what causes cancer and simultaneously what cures it. But back to this coronavirus. So um, it's killed about 5,000 people in the world so far. Um, 22 to 23 people, I think. Because as of yesterday, it was 22 people. Or two days ago, 22 people. I haven't checked in the last couple days. So 22 people in America. 600 people or, some, or a little bit over 600 in Italy. And most of the people, most of those deaths have been in China. Again, from people who smoke, where, they, where, where the you know ground zero. And a lot of those people over there, older people um, with bad respiratory systems and people who smoke. Now, is that, that's bad. Now, 5,000 people, that's crazy. Now, I tried to look it up and, um, you know, I tried to look it up and compare it to the flu. And honestly, man, five thousand people um, within I think it was the, the virus. The virus broke out what six weeks ago, or you know maybe a couple months ago. Five thousand people in a couple months is pretty big. That's 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 insane. And so then I went to kind of look it up to compare it to the flu. And man, that's the you know um, the flu uh, as compared to the coronavirus. You know. Depending on your perception, most people would say that this is pretty bad, you know, but depending on your perception, the flu in America this year, as of February the 28th, had killed 16,000 people, 16,000 people in America alone have died this year of the flu, the regular flu. And they got your ass tripping <laughs> about 5,000 people. Now, that's bad. Any, you know, anybody dying from, a, you know, from any outbreak is bad. But you got to put everything in perspective. People die over viruses and illnesses every year. And so, you know, your time to go is going to be your time to go. But, um, you know, in comparison, 16,000 people in two months. Just in 2020, January and February, <laughs> uh, 16,000 people have died in America. But they don't plaster that on the news because that that's really something to be tripping about. If you if they plaster, man, 16,000 people have died of the flu already, you would be tripping the fuck out. That's something to really be going to get some damn, damn fucking toilet paper and some water about. But 22 people dying in America. This is propaganda. This is this is, again, distraction. This is a great way to use distraction to get to to gain control of a system that you know, sometimes has a tendency to get out of control. So again, um, how do we fight it? So I've said colloidal silver or nano silver. Actually, let me show you. So this is what you want to be using right here. Put it a little closer so y'all can see. This is called one silver solution. 
Now, what is what is the difference between this silver? What's so important about this silver? Now, there's a lot of things called colloidal silver. A colloid is a measure of uh, a unit of measurement, right? For size, like a millimeter, a centimeter. A colloid is just is super small. Excuse me. Then you have things smaller than that, or particles smaller than that, like angstroms and things like that. So, what happens is when they when they the science of colloidal silver, what they do is they take silver, they put um, electrodes on it with, with uh, attached to a battery, a direct current battery, and the electrodes strip particles of silver into the water. So they put these silver into the water, put the electrodes on the silver, and then tie it up to a di direct current battery, and it strips particles into the water, and then you drink that. I used to make colloidal silver myself 20 years ago. So... Um, so that's pretty good. You can also you can buy colloidal making colloidal silver making kits on the internet. You know, and they all work. It's really good. Used to cure me from pretty much every knee scratchy throat everything. Now the difference between colloidal silver and this nano silver is that, or this right here, this has a patent on it. This this is a patent, United States patent, because they don't use direct current. They use alternate current. So this is getting into like Tesla and stuff like that. So alternate current is the more powerful current current and when it does it makes the particles smaller when it strips the particles off of the silver it makes them much smaller so more particles of the silver are able to enter the cell to, to clean the cell and why is that important because silver is a natural uh, antibacterial antiviral it's been used for hundreds and thousands of years before any of any pharmaceuticals came you know came about they used to uh, put silver dollars in milk so the milk wouldn't spoil. You know, they used to use silver in the 50s, um, colloidal silver, water, silver water, and they used to dip uh, gauze in, in the silver water and wrap your, and wrap your burns in the silver, in this, in, uh, the silver gauze. So it's been around forever. And then right around the 50s is when the pharmaceutical industry started coming out and they were like, nah, that's too free. That's too, that's, and it don't cost enough. And they started taking over you know, the remedies that the hospital started to, started to put out. But silver has been used forever. That's why you get silver at your, at your wedding. That's why you use silver eating utensils because the silver kills the bacteria and viruses in the food before you eat it. It's natural. It's been around here forever. Um, the FDA has, if you go to their website and look up uh, hemorrhagic viruses and they, have, and they have different reports on hemorrhagic viruses and what cures it. They have a report on how colloidal silver kills all hemorrhagic viruses, one of which is Ebola. <laughs> it kills Ebola, as well as as well as a thousand different other things that they had listed. This is what this is what they're using. They they stocked up on this when the bird flu happened and all the and the and the pigs and the swine flu and all this. The, the a government, the American government, stocked up on colloidal silver, actually nano silver. So they won't tell you this because they don't want to be they don't want there to be a shortage of the shit. <laughs> First off, if, if some shit really go down, but they stockpiled this shit for them. See, this is knowledge is power. Understand that. If we don't tell everybody about this, then we can't. Or if we do tell everybody this, everybody about this, then we can't rule you when some shit really happens. You know, when the shit really breaks down, and we're really the ones running shit because we're we're the ones over here taking colloidal silver and not catching shit, and y'all niggas out there dying. If we told y'all about that, then <laughs> we couldn't run shit when the shit when the shit gets fucked up, and we really we really want some shit to happen. So that's why they got to hold the knowledge away from you. But again, this right here, and you want so when you have when you have some type of outbreak like this and stuff like that, again, fear is the biggest part that's going to make it take hold. You the fear of it is more than anything. If you have a high immune system, it's hard for anthrax to take to to fuck with you. If you have a high immune system, not taking anything, that's how your immune, the universe has made you the dopest being in the, in the universe. Your immune system is off the chain. If you just have, if you have a high one and don't make your body super acidic, it'll take out every, pretty much everything that comes within the body. But then your mind also has to be a part of that and tell your body that it has the power to do that. But just in case you want to give it a little help, you want to give it an AK-47 <laughs> to help it out when it goes on the front line. That's the silver. And then then they I just saw on the news they tried to make fun of this because the Christians on the TV on the new on the Christian network they were selling silver. 
and they tried to make fun of him. Talking about, oh, that doesn't work. These Christians are selling, it was Tammy Faye Baker or whatever with him or whoever, somebody on that network, they were selling the silver. And that's real shit. See, they're alternative and they'll make fun of some of their alternative stuff, but that's real stuff. That real, they, They're doing right over there with them Christians. The Christian Caucasians are buying the silver. You need to be doing that. See, them <laughs> Christian Caucasians on TVN, they got big boxes of silver they sell it. <laughs> to all them Caucasians who watch that shit, you need to be doing the same thing. So um, the place I get it from, like I said, is One Silver Solution. I've been getting it from them for over 10 years. The dopest silver, it's pat it has a patent pending. Uh, uh, and that's the, and the reason is because people try to take people try to take their patent and use it and, uh, and 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 build off of their patent, but they're the only ones who have that patent using uh, alternate current. So the, now let me tell you what it does. Why silver is so important in the body? Now you know it's an antibacterial, antiviral, naturally. But what colloidal silver does when they elect, when they when they strip the when they strip it. With the, with the electrons or the electrolysis from, from the silver with the battery, what they do is when it goes into the water, they strip an electron from the silver. So it's imbalanced. Everything has to have two electrons. So now when you take the silver, the, sil the, the, the electron of the silver is trying to rebalance itself. So it doesn't, in the, in, the, in the dope thing about the universe, it doesn't take the electron from your cells, from your natural cells. Somehow it knows to take it from an invader in your body and, and, and an, a cell that's doing your body harm, like a virus or a bacteria. It doesn't harm you. It harms any invading bacteria or virus. This is, an, this is amazing. So it, what, it, what happens is when it comes in contact with an invading bacteria or virus, it jacks it for its electron. <laughs> one of its electrons like thanks my nigga <laughs> it takes one of it, its electrons without two electrons that virus or that cell the cell of that virus it dies it can't live and there's no way that it can adapt to it because nothing can live without the two electrons except the silver because the silver is uh the silver is a metallic <laughs> so the silver is a metal so anything organic can't live without its two electrons <laughs> This is this is the universal ill dope science. This is all about you. And um, so that's why you want to get on this shit. Um, so the thing about um, keeping your body alkaline. So, you know, people who've been ordering stuff off the off the website, um, you know, you've been asking me because um, I had offered about a few months ago. I had offered a my alkaline cookbook. I have an alkaline cookbook and in the back it has a list of alkaline foods and acidic foods and what to eat in, in, in the middle and what to combine and all this stuff. So, um, you know, people have been wanting that information. And so what I'm going to do is for anybody who makes a purchase from, from the Real Nagas website, from the Naga Knowledge Shop or the clothes, I'm going to give you the alkaline cookbook for free. All right. And that's, and I was doing that for, I'd offered that as, a, as, um, you know, as a, um, as a gift when you bought something that was about a few months ago, but for now on, because what's going on, all you guys need this, this nutritional information. Um, so whenever you buy something, you will get that book for free. All right. For free. And if you have already bought something and you didn't get the book, just hit me up on, on the email and then I'll email you books. Okay. So everybody, you need this information. You need to start to be healthy. You need to understand what's out there for you to be healthy. Okay, again, on the, on the Christian channel, they're getting this colloidal silver off like it ain't nothing. Now, you also want to keep, you want to take vitamin C. That's the other super healer. All right, vitamin C will damn near cure everything. <laughs> it's, it is the secret, it is the secret cure that they don't tell you about. They, they had uh, vitamin C clinics in the late 80s and they shut them down. Um, with with military, this was in the, this was in Los Angeles. They had some some vitamin C clinics in Los Angeles. One, well, this one dude, he had a vitamin C clinic, and he was curing people with vitamin C. That's all he was. He was like taking. He would just prescribe different doses of vitamin C for every ailment, and it was curing everybody. And so the FDA got a hold of this and said, "Well, you don't, uh, you can't be telling people that you can cure them with vitamin C." And they kicked in his door. And he didn't even, he, he only worked in there with like a few uh, nurses. It wasn't like, this, he, he was like a small office. He had a few nurses in there. And they kicked open the door with military and shit and, and shut his whole thing down. Like he was a goddamn uh, terrorist. And this was in the late 80s. And see, I remember, I remember watching this on the news. That's how I, that's how I remember this shit. So, um, you know, 
they try they will try to suppress you know the information that will that will that will heal you that will help you <laughs> because they want you in mass hysteria so again so important so again for the people um, who are asking about the bond book this is the this is the book of bonds all right this is uh uh, how you find all the bond laws in every state in all 50 states and remember every every official public official has to have a bond in order to work and so if they violate your rights after you show them this 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 constitutional rights card or you tell them your rights and they violate those rights and you inform them that you're going to come after their bond this everything to do it is right here it to tell you how to file a lien on the bond where to find it all the different laws um, as well as federal officers, because federal officers are not required to have bonds. So it tells you in here um, how to get remedy from a federal officer or employee. All right, there's something, there, there's a way to do that. And, and um, the remember, they're not going to have anybody in government or with positions of power where they don't have checks and balances because the rich people can't afford that. They're not going to have you. Uh, you know, have being able to have power over somebody with money, a rich person, and that rich person not being able to have any type of uh, uh, an out. <laughs> so they leave loopholes in the law for these rich people. And the lawyers go find these loopholes for these rich people. You don't have the money for to do that. So you got to look it up yourself. Now, you don't have to necessarily become lawyers, but you do have to understand what to look up and what to learn in order to be able to speak it. And this, this is the thing that's been hidden since the beginning. Every person, every every brother or anyone who's been railroaded by a police officer wishes they had this book. I promise you, because immediately when a police officer starts to harass you and you say the words qualified immunity and uh, and um, uh, faithful, faithful performance surety bond, <laughs> when you say those words, qualified immunity, faithful performance and surety, uh, surety bond. Their ears go up like Scooby-Doo. Huh? <laughs> huh? Promise you. Because now they know that you know how to get at them. How to get basically get them, get them fired off their job. And that's what this. And this will tell you how to not get your ass shot <laughs> at the police stop. All right? You need to know what to do and what to say and what, how not to let them railroad you and lie to you at the police stop so you don't hand over your rights. All of that is in... The Know Your Rights Manual. So this is the package. This is called the Police Stop Law Package. Um, I was giving this out, the Police Stop Law Package for free with the uh, Great Book of Melanin Research. I was doing that and people, you guys, I, I did it for a certain time and you guys hit me up after the time. Y'all always do that. You'll keep hitting me up after the time. So, um, and I appreciate you guys wanting to do that because sometimes you just can't do it at the time I have the deal on. So what I'm going to do is, since my solar return is coming up on April 7th, um, you know, so until now, until my solo return, I'm going to have this deal for you guys. So if you buy the hard copy of the great book of melanin research, you get the digital copy, <clears throat> excuse me, the digital copy as well. Also, you're going to get all of this, the police stop, let me show that right there, the police, damn, <laughs> police stop law package. All right. This is everything. This is being sold. If you know, if you have the books already, you can buy this whole package on the real Nagas, uh, on the Naga knowledge shop just by itself. But if you don't and you want, because I believe everyone needs to know their rights. This is coming up. They're getting ready to do some crazy shit right now when they start implementing laws and martial law and all this and that type of stuff. So it's of the utmost importance now that you guys know your rights, especially when they start implementing this martial law shit. Because they assume that most 99% of the people of the public don't know their rights. And they're going to use the police force to be able to implement uh, uh, a lot of this shit. And so you need to know what to, what to say, what not to say, where to stand when a lot of this shit starts going down. So, again, know your rights and then know how to get at them if they try to violate your rights. All right. Uh, and as well, like I said, anything you order from uh, anything you order from the Naga Knowledge Shop, I'm going to give you the Alkaline Cookbook for free so you can get your ass healthy, pass it on to your family. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You know, do the cooking yourself and give them the food, whatever the, <laughs> whatever the hell you got to do. But you got to get healthy and make sure you get colloidal silver and, um, and vitamin C. All right. One thousand. Uh, you want to do, excuse me, three thousand milligrams of vitamin. If you're getting sick, if you feel sick, three thousand milligrams of vitamin C 
every time you take a teaspoon of colloidal silver, it's a teaspoon of colloidal silver with 3,000 3, milligrams of vitamin C. Um, this is what I, so I'm just letting you know what I do. <laughs> this, 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 this is a disclaimer. I'm letting you know this is how I do it. <laughs> this, this from, just from the jump. So I take, when I, if, I, if I ever feel something coming on, and that's only, you know, when I feel the first onslaught of it, like my, fo my, my throat gets scratchy, or if I feel like even if my, my nose gets dry, I don't even wait till I feel sick. If I, if I feel my nose is dry, immediately I go take it and then nothing else. I feel nothing else. So what I do is I take 3,000 milligrams with a teaspoon of colloidal silver um, three times a day. And remember, you can take up to 14,000 milligrams of vitamin C a day. Um, your body will absorb it. Otherwise, it'll just pee it out. All right. So <laughs> this is what we need to be doing. And as far as the corona, the the uh, the the, uh, the video that I was going to do, the part three on the Saturn cult, I'm going to do that. But I'm going to do an actual documentary. So much stuff has been coming out about this Saturn cult stuff. It's it's insane. It's so many parts to it. It's more than the Saturn cult. It's a, it has to do with the sun worship and, you know, the Star Wars, the battle between our sun and Saturn for the longest time and how these two battles played out and, and the symbolism of them through Superman and all the rest. Of, I mean, it's so much shit that's, that's going down with this Saturn cult worship. It is everything that you are into today is the Saturn worship. They have gotten all of your energy to pour into it. And you have no idea that you were doing it. I didn't have, I knew that a lot of it was going there, but I didn't understand how much until I really dove deep into the whole aspect of this shit. And then understand the history that's been taken away from us. Um, because what's, what has to be learned is there was a history, there was something called, uh, there's a battle in, in philosophies, in the scientific philosophy and, and, and uh, cosmology between the gravitational universe that's you know our universe started with a big bang and gravitational forces pulled and separated us and you know and, and eventually we we uh, found a balance and a harmony with our solar system through the gravity through the gravity of, of the of the giant bodies of the planets then there's another philosophy about the electric universe where um the elect the universe is electric there's electrical uh you know you know um uh, uh, charges in, in, you know, everything going like electrical signals that are being uh, transmitted throughout the universe all the time, just like in your body. And it only makes sense. If your body, if your body sends messages by through electrical signal, obviously the universe would do that. That's as above, so below. If the universe works that way, then you would work that way. And if you work that way, then that's obviously the universe, the way the universe works. But the one thing that they try to deny is they try to deny the elect in the electric universe. They try to deny the existence of dark matter because they say, well, dark matter, it, it, you know, because this is the dark matter is is a philosophy of the gravitational side because they say, well, we don't see dark matter, but we can tell because of its gravitational force. We can see things kind of, you know, kind of maintain a balance or, you know, or expand away from it. So there has to be something in the middle that's doing this. It has to be some type of matter. So then the electrical universe comes in and say, well, no, that's not what's happening. It's electrical forces that are that are moving throughout the that are moving throughout the universe and causing causing these different reactions. Now, what they need neither one of them have is the science from this shit. This is I just found out how important this shit is because in here they talk about the dark matter, the the, the philosophy of dark matter, and how if there's matter and there has to be matter because they can tell between the by the gravitational pulls, and if there's matter up there, it's melanin. And it's the same melanin that's in the skin of black or melanated people on the planet. That's up there in space. They say that. They, they have a melanated scientist next to space. And they say the melanin in his skin is the same melanin that would be dark matter out in space. Now, the reason that makes sense, because if the universe is sending electrical charges, if the universe is communicating by electrical charges, it would have to do it through melanin. Because melanin is the superconductor. It talks about it in here, how your melanin is a superconductor. It, it absorbs energy and stores it and emits, and emits vibration and changes vibration, takes light and can store light to vibration and energy, can take sound and, you and convert sound to energy, which is insane. That means every time you hear a bump on the table, your melanin absorbs that sound and converts it to energy. That's in, that is crazy. And the reason that had to be, I've, you go back in the day and you, you go back and understand how that was, is because at a certain time, we didn't have the main sun in the sky. That sun that we get all of our energy from through our melanin now, that sun wasn't visible. 
it was Saturn there. And when Saturn was visible in the sky, it was a very dim light around the world. You could see the ambient light from that sun, but he wasn't visible because sun with the Saturn was blocking it. So there was a very dim light. So that we had to get energy from any way we could. And that's why this is vibranium. It picks up vibration of any type. Sound, light, you know, touch, <laughs> anything. It picks it up and, 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 and converts the damn fucking vibration to energy for your body. That's fucking amazing. And that explains this electrical universe. And I, that's why I have to do a goddamn documentary about this shit. Because this shit is so goddamn ill. And one other thing I'm going to break y'all off about. About where the ancients get the word, the, the two suns. The battle of the suns. You can see it here. In the ancient times, in ancient Kemet, um, the ancient sun was called Atumra. Right? Atumra. That's what, that was Saturn. And that was the fixed sun in the sky. Right? And so I told you guys about the symbolism in Star Wars, how Luke Skywalker, because Luke in Latin is light and Skywalker meant because he was moving across the sky. And that only meant something because you had one son that stayed there. And then you got this other nigga coming in and he moving. And you like, hey, nigga, what's happening? We, uh, we rolling with this nigga. <laughs> we, we roll with this nigga. He, this nigga, he, he kind of hot. <laughs> this nigga, he giving off some good energy over here. He kind of dope. Uh, see you later, Saturn. And um, so that's why that meant something in Star Wars. But um, as, far, in, as far as Kemet, the two names, you had Atumra, and then the sun became Amunra, right? So Ra is just the name of the sun, but the two names in the, in the front will tell you what it meant. Atumra was the stationary fixed sun, the one that was always there. Amunra was the hidden sun. The reason he was called Amunra is because when the solar system changed and Saturn moved, we were able to see this sun now. And he was like, oh shit, where the fuck was you at? <laughs> he was the hidden sun behind. We couldn't see him because of all the, because Saturn was in this place or fixed right there, blocking its, its full light. And when the, the, the planetary positions changed, he moved into a new position and we were able to see him, see the sun or him or her, it, it, you know, and the entity, the God being that it is. And we were like, oh yeah, we're fucking with that. And that's what Akhenaten said, we're going to go to worship the Aten. Why? Because they were worshiping the old sun, Saturn. And they were like, no, this is the real dude. We just couldn't see him. <laughs> now this nigga over here, y'all gotta stop worshiping that nigga. We need to be here. <laughs> and so that's the real shit that's going on. It's some, and you know, all of this plays out into our history. And I got to put all this shit in the goddamn documentary. So please support. Um, you know, we're not able to uh, we're not able to promote or, you know, our books and stuff on the Zoe show anymore because they in a new place dashed on one tripping like that. So I need y'all to support more than ever. So, again, go get the, the uh, police stop law package at the Real Nugget Knowledge Shop. You get this free if you order the hard copy melanin book. Um, anything you order, you're going to get the um, the alkaline cookbook, though, because y'all need to get healthy. God damn it. <laughs> that's just how it is y'all need to get healthy and we're gonna do it we're gonna do it together we're gonna do it together all right i'm gonna holler at y'all later get in there support oh also i just put in a gang of new shirts and clothing into the real naga shop all right uh i got the no capitulation i almost forgot the no capitulation shirt that i had didn't have in there i got it redesigned just put it in the store today go check it out um, I got new Dragon More shirts, new Phoenix More shirts, designs, uh, Golden Dragon, Golden Phoenix More, um, and like I said, no capitulation shirt, um, and I got new designs for the Native Amaru Khan, new colors. So get in there, please support, check it out, anything y'all order, you get the book, you get the Alkaline Cookbook, alright? I'm gonna let y'all later, peace.